Good evening, uh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are reaching us from. This is another edition of Weather Forum. And as usual, I promise it to be an exciting and educative and very interactive program uh, in the next couple of hours. Uh, today, as usual, we are going to have um, updates on our community networks. Uh, we have more information on catalyst updates. Uh, voting has just begun today with respect to fan 12. And we share with you the uh, proposals, uh, what the global put in. And we expect to promote our proposals and make sure that uh we get a lot of votes and we're also going to uh ask our license hubs to also submit their proposals on the call uh so that we can also promote it to receive voting we have updates coming up on intersect mbo and singularity net and the second part of the show is the third edition of our Catalyst Working Group, which we have been having the past few weeks. And as I said, it promises to be very exciting and an educative show uh, tonight. To help me with the hosting, and as a matter of fact, to help our French audience with whatever is going to transpire especially on the first part of the show is Laurentine. Laurentine, if you're here, um, please let our French folks get to know exactly what is happening tonight. Hey, bonjour tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. Je vais rapidement ré récapituler ce que Samuel vient de dire. Il disait que euh, aujourd'hui, nous allons, Wada va euh, partager les projets qu'il a, qu a soumis et aussi euh, chaque euh, chaque euh, membre qui a eu à soumettre des projets devra également partager le lien de son de son projet pour qu'on puisse générer beaucoup de votes pour chacun. Donc aujourd'hui, euh, je vais euh, tenir la première partie de la réunion avec Samuel et la deuxième partie et ma présence ne sera plus nécessaire pour conduire la réunion. Merci. Thank you. Um, thank you, Laurentine. Um, quickly, let's remind ourselves of why we gather at our usual other forums. This is our statement of purpose. And to help us do the honors, next slide, please. Um, we usually like to invite any of our participants to read our statement of purpose. Uh, to do us the honors here today, um, my big boss, Josh, is around. Josh, if you don't mind, please unmute yourself and tell us why we have gathered here tonight. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Samuel. Uh, our mission is to elevate underrepresented groups through the application of technology and invest in a more equitable future. Thank you, sir. Laurentine, please take away. Invite somebody to read to us in French, or if you can do it yourself, that would be great. Ok, j'aimerais inviter quelqu'un à lire le, la déclaration de but. J'aimerais ici inviter Boaz, si tu es là. Euh, oui, je suis là. Vous me demandez de lire? Oui, lire la proposition de but qui s'affiche à l'écran. Ok, déclaration de but. Notre mission, promouvoir les groupes sous-représentés grâce à l'application de la technologie à investir dans un avenir plus équitable. Merci. Merci. Thank you, Boaz. Uh, quickly, uh, today, as I stated earlier, we like to um, go on with the usual stuff and get set for the last edition of our Catalyst Working Group. And uh, quickly, let me invite Edufwa, who is always up with 
uh, what transpired here on the call last week. We call it the recap of our previous meetings. Adufa, kindly take us through what's, what happened here last week. We just recap what we said last week on our forum. So last week, we spoke about some idea first that we're going to come on by Kat and Latam. Yes, yeah, so last Friday, Kat had their first idea first, and they're going to have another one on the 5th of July. The Latam idea first is today. And we also said that Singularity Net, um, voting has ended for Singularity Net defunding, and the results were pending. We also spoke about Intersect and spoke about the Interim Constitutional Committee. So the voting was ongoing, and then there were going to be seven members for a year term. So there were four seats already filled by Mergo, Cardano Foundation, IOG, and Intersect. So there were three remaining that we had to vote for. And then we're going to see the results by 25th June. Um, I'm sure we'll talk about it more today. We also spoke about the Constitutional Convention in December. And we said that there were going to be workshops worldwide to discuss the draft constitution. And after delegates will be selected from the workshops and then all those who applied um, to be workshop hosts will be notified by 5th July. Last week, we also had the second session of our catalyst working group. And we looked at operating parameters, accelerators, incubators, and funding priorities. So there was an overview presentation and then we went into breakout rooms and came back after and discussed our findings. Thank you. Thank you, Adufa. Um, please write in a little summary in, in French. We'll be very good. Ici, la question de récapituler les réunions précédentes qu'on a eues. Et en ce qui concerne le uh, idea fist, il a été dit que uh, uh, African Cats a tenu une session de idea fist le 21 juin. Il y en aura une autre le 27 juin. Et concernant le financement de deep funding, de Singularity Network, Euh, une autre question. On, il a été annoncé que les votes euh, sont déjà terminés et que les résultats étaient en attente. Et concernant la mise à jour de l'écosystème de Intersect, et on a parlé de, du vote du communauté constitutionnelle intérimaire qui était en cours. Il a été indiqué que quatre sièges ont été pourvus déjà. Il reste encore trois. Il en reste trois à, à voter. Et donc, il est question de sept membres au total pour un mandat de d'un an. Et le vote sera annoncé avant le 25 juin. Et concernant la convention constitutionnelle de Buenos Aires, en décembre, il y aura des ateliers, comme vous le savez déjà, partout dans le monde entier, pour euh, discuter du projet de constitution. Et la sélection de représentants euh, sera faite à l'issue de ces ateliers-là. Et donc, les représentants sélectionnés seront notifiés avant le 5 juillet. Et concernant les sessions de groupe de travail de Catalyst, une deuxième session euh, a été organisée qui a été axée sur les paramètres de fonctionnement de Catalyst, et ainsi que les, in les incubateurs et les priorités de financement. Il a, il a également été question de présentation générale des activités en petits groupes, des examens et discussions euh, des résultats des équipes. Merci. Thank you very much, um, Laurentine. Uh, it's time now to move to our community network updates. And as I said earlier today, we are talking about Catalyst, Singularity Net, and um, Intersect. Uh, I'll start with Catalyst and what's going on uh, in the Cardano ecosystem, as far as Fan 12 is concerned, uh, Messi will take up from me and talk about the DF4 resource, which is out, and what they put in a proposal with Edify, which we are exciting uh, to state that it won't funding. Messi will want to talk a bit about that, and she wants to continue to talk about Intersect and what's happening in terms of the Dura education 
as well as the intersect regional workshops. So quickly, let me start with the uh, update on Catalyst. Today is the 27th of June, 2024. And per the timeline for uh, Fund 12, voting has really commenced right now. And we are here to encourage you um, to vote for uh, the proposals that were the global putting in the funding round. Uh, we have prepared a link tree which um, culminates or organizes all the six or five proposals that we put in Fund 12. Uh, in the course of time, I'll share the link tree in the chat and we are encouraging everybody to go through it and help us by voting so that we can win um, funding to expand some of the great works that Global is embarking as far as our ecosystem and uh, Cardano ecosystem is concerned. In addition to that, we are also asking all the hub leads of our license hubs to submit um, any proposals that you put in will help um, prepare a link tree and share in our socials uh, in a form of trying to also governize support and um, uh, bring awareness as to uh, what proposals was put in by our license hubs so that people can also see and vote in order that you can also receive funding. So that is by way of um, uh, our strategies to uh, get our proposals and that of our license have to uh, receive a lot of publicity and people vote. And in addition to that, we are also asking our license hub for any form of support apart from uh, promotional activities, if you need any form of support, especially uh, between now and the uh, 11th of July, which will um, bring voting to an end, uh, to write to us, and we'll be very happy to support in that respect. So this is what is coming in terms of um, Catalyst Project. Messi, if you have anything you want to add, you can do that. If not, Laurentine will summarize what I've just said in French, then you take over and tell us more about Singularity Net and uh, Intersect. Yeah, nothing from me. Over to you, Laurentine. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to talk about the mise à jour du réseau communautaire. Et premièrement, euh, il est à noter que le vote au, au niveau de Catalyst commence aujourd'hui. 27 juin et WADA s'engage à soutenir tous ceux qui ont soumis des projets. Et pour ce faire, il y a ce qu'on appelle Linktree. C'est une plateforme où les liens de, de, de projets sont partagés et, et facilitent l'accès à tout le monde. Donc, le lien a, selon Samuel, il va, au cours de la réunion, poster le lien en commentaire pour que chacun puisse y avoir accès. Et aussi, WADA euh, 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 promet son soutien à tous les villes qui sont licenciés reconnus par WADA concernant les projets qu'ils ont eu à soumettre. Donc, chacun est appelé à faire connaître son projet et aussi, s'il y a des gens qui ont besoin d'autres soutiens en dehors de, de votre, n'hésitez pas à le faire savoir par WADA et le soutien en question vous sera accordé. Merci. Uh, Messi, it's now your time to um, tell us uh, what's happening in Singularity Night and Intersect. Please take over. All right. Um... Meanwhile, meanwhile, I've put the link tree in the chat. So uh, please, people, just look at it and uh, vote for us. Thank you. Messi, go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Um, so yeah, so in terms of uh, Singularity Net, the uh, deep funding round um, just uh, com uh, completed or concluded. 
And, um, you know, what is relevant to us is that Edify, you know, put in a proposal. It wasn't a big um, uh, budget. It's about 28000 um at usd and uh, together with wada and i think um two other partners um it's basically just to keep um you know sort of uh, socializing what's happening in deep funding for i mean what i uh, sorry deep funding um the four just completed and um uh, five should be soon um, a lot of that funding on the water side will be going into supporting some of these um, um, sessions that we've been having, the forum, just making everybody aware what's on offer. You know, if there is a bit of education, we're going to weave that in as well. But basically, a lot of awareness and how people can get involved in the AI revolution. As we know, when we talk about Web3, it's not just blockchain, also AI, metaverse, um, and so on. So stay tuned as to how uh, this is going to play out. Uh, this is supposed to be a link. If anyone can, um, you know, sort of copy the link and put it in the chat, that would be amazing. But yeah, that's uh, so far for uh, deep funding round four. And we'll, we'll keep you updated uh, as soon as the round five uh, uh, launches. In terms of in intersects, from next week, uh, I don't know how many of us have heard about I'm not, I'm not sure about that part first because I might forget. Yes, so. yes, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Our performer of Singularity Net, uh, uh, Madame Mercy vient d'indiquer que um, uh, le, le fond numéro 4 de Deep Funding, les résultats ont été annoncés et WADA avait soumis un projet en collaboration avec d'autres structures Et le projet a été financé, il indique que ce n'est pas grand-chose, environ 28 000 dollars, et qu'une bonne partie de cette somme sera euh, utilisée pour financer les forums que nous tenons ici. Et il sera beaucoup plus question d'éducation sur euh, ce qui se passe dans, euh, en termes de, 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 de l'intelligence artificielle. Et aussi, euh, il ne sera pas seulement question d'intelligence artificielle, mais on parlera également de, du Web3, pas seulement de la blockchain, mais également de... de, de De, 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 de. Voilà, elle disait quand on parlera du web, du, du, du web 3 et bien d'autres choses qui se passent au niveau de la technologie aujourd'hui. Donc, c'est tout ce qu'il y a en ce qui concerne Singularity Net. Merci. All right. So, I have put in the chat um, uh, all the results. And uh, yeah, please have a look. Uh, the one by Edify, uh, the lead is Harry, uh, Harry Heller. Uh, Wada is a co-proposer. I am trying to remember the title, but it's, uh, um, yeah, I'll find out the title and uh, I'll let you all know. But uh, the link uh, for all the results, it's not long. So if you go through, you'll find it. Um, it's in the miscellaneous session, but you can also have a chance to look at the other proposals that won't funding. I've put it in the chat. All right, so regarding uh, Intersect. Uh, so as we know, Voltaire, which is the people governance, is rolling out slowly but surely. Last year, those of us that remember, we did uh, the SIP 1694 workshops. There were a lot of discussions regarding, you know, how to get everybody's voice heard as far as Cardano governance go. Um, and right now this year, mostly it's regarding, um, you know, how to just operationalize everything. The three main components of Cardano governance is state polls, DREP and also constitutional committee. Um, the, uh, from next week, we are going to start a series of DREP educations. It's going to be on Thursday, uh, very much the same as we did the Catalyst Working Group. Um, so we do a short um, initial updates and then we go into workshop. It's going to be very interesting. Please, if you want to know about DREPs, if you want to know how to delegate to a DREP, if you want to be a DREP, 
please come. If you want to know how to set up a node, please come from next week. Um, um, can we go back, please? Yeah. Um, and then also uh, regarding our intersex regional workshops, um, as we all know, uh, WADA is implementing the intersex Africa regional workshop. I know that Josh is here. I don't know if he has anything to say, uh, but basically there will be more information coming soon. Right now we are starting in West, um, um, West Africa, East Africa, and Central Africa. There will be more details uh, as time goes on. Uh, Josh, do you have anything quick that you want to add or that will be on a later uh, uh, session? That's right. Yeah, we'll be going through it next week. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about the content and the regions, so the timelines and what to expect. Perfect. Also, when Edufua was um, talking, uh, I believe she made mention of the Interim Constitutional Committee um, in terms of the results. So it was actually when he was she was talking that the results came out. It was delayed. It was a couple of days delayed. Uh, but the results are out now. Interesting. And the three community seats is going to be filled by the Cardano Atlantic Council. So I don't know how many of us uh, uh, have been interacting um, with, um, you know, the voting. But the Cardano Atlantic Council, uh, it's a, a group of, I believe, six and they won the most, followed by Cardano Japan, and then the Eastern uh, Cardano Council. So it looks like the three seats are, are going to be filled by organizations, and they are going to be joined by Intersect on one hand, uh, Cardano Foundation, IOG, and um, Imergo. Lots, you know, I know that's a lot of uh, information. It tends to get confusing. Um, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the chat. Uh, sorry, that was long. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you can just summarize it. <laughs> Alors, une autre question maintenant de parler de Intersect. Et comme vous le savez déjà, euh, euh, Voltaire se déploie lentement, mais sûrement. Vous vous souvenez que l'année passée, on a eu euh, des séances de travail au Ghana euh, sous le nom de Sextin. Uh, what can we 16 words? The, the workshops we had last, last year. Can you remind me the name, please? 1964. Uh, uh, there's no number. Uh, yeah, 16, 1694. 1684. The sessions we had tenues in Ghana, where chacun a pu uh, apporter sa voix, dire ce qu'il pensait et contribuant ainsi. Euh, à ce que Voltaire plus, puisse être déployé. Donc, ainsi, euh, des sessions, des ateliers vont commencer à partir de la semaine prochaine euh, sur la formation de d -Rebs. Et donc, si quelqu'un est intéressé par le rôle de d si vous, vous aimeriez savoir, en savoir plus sur ce que c'est qu'un d quelles sont les responsabilités et tout ce que cela peut impliquer, vous êtes euh, invité à participer. À, aux réunions. Et aussi, parlons des ateliers, de l'atelier régional Intersect. Euh, Wada est, est un représentant et, et pour l'instant, il est question de couvrir l'Afrique de l'Ouest, l'Afrique centrale et l'Afrique de l'Est également. Donc, il y aura euh, la tenue des ateliers euh, concernant cela. Et pendant que euh, Edouard parlait, Le résultat, le résultat du vote de, 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 du comité constitutionnel intérimaire n'était pas encore sorti et c'est pendant qu'elle parlait que les résultats sont sortis. Donc, Padamo euh, 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 en fera partie et voilà. Je pense que j'ai essayé de traduire autant que possible. Merci. 